This question says, Mr. X has three children. The birthday of the first child falls on 5th Monday of April. 5th Monday of April. Right, everyone? So it means what? 5th Monday can be on 29th April or 30th April. Right? So if 5th Monday is lying on 29th April, then 1st April is Sunday. Sorry, 1st April is Monday. Right? Or if it is lying on 30th of April, then 2nd April will be Monday. Right, everyone? So 1st April can be Monday or 2nd April can be Monday in this case. Right? Now, the next information is that of the second one falls on 5th Thursday of November. So November is same as uh, April because both months have 30 days, right? So 5th th Thursday of November means either 1st November is Thursday or the 2nd November is Thursday, right? Okay. Now the question part is on which day is the birthday of his third child which falls on 20th December? Right, everyone? 20th December, right? So now, let's talk about the odd days between April and November. So April month has two odd days. Why? Because April has 30 days. So 28 complete weeks plus two odd days, right? So April, then May has three odd days because 31 days. June has two odd days. July, three. August, three. September 2, October 3, right? So just add them 5, 5, 5, 15 plus 3, 18, right? 18 odd days. 18 odd days are equivalent to 4 odd days. Why? Because 18 will be divided by 7. So 18 will give you 14 plus 4, right? So 2 complete weeks plus 4 extra days. So these extra days will be considered as 4 odd days, right? So 18 odd days is equivalent to 4 odd days, right? So it means what? 1st April, right? If 1st April is Monday, then after 4 days, 1st November will lie, right? So if 1st April is Monday, then 1st November will be Monday plus 4 days. So this is Friday, right? But 1st November can't be Friday. Why? Because if 1st November is on Friday, then that November can't have 5 Thursdays, right? So this is not possible. I repeat, 1st November can't be Friday. Why? Because if 1st November is Friday, then that November does not have 5 Thursdays, right? So this case is not possible. It means, First, it means what? First April is Sunday and second April is Monday. Right? And second April is Monday. This is the only possible case that second April is Monday, right? So now if first April is Monday, then after four days, first November will lie, right? So after four days, 1st November. So 1st November will be Thursday, right? If 1st April is Sunday, then 1st November will be Thursday, right? So in this question, only this case can be taken into consideration, right? So here, 2nd April will be Monday and 1st November will be Thursday, right? Now, if 1st November will be on Thursday, then it means what? 29th November will also be on Thursday, right? Everyone, if 1st November is on Thursday, then 29th, after 28 days, 29th November will be there and that will again Thursday, right? Now, if 29th November is Thursday, then 1st December is what? 1st December is Saturday, right everybody? If 29th November is Thursday, then 1st December is Saturday, right? First December is Saturday means 15th December, like after 14 days, 15th December is also Saturday. Everybody, okay? So 15th December, 15th December is Saturday, right? So now let's talk about the question. What the question is saying? Question is saying, 
on which day is the birthday of his third child which falls on 20th december see everyone if 15th december is saturday then obviously 22nd december will also be on saturday right after seven days right so just two days before it will be 20th december right so this will be what this will be thursday everybody okay so 20th december will be thursday right this is a very good question of calendar and friends for solving this type of question in the examination we should be very much comfortable with the topic right otherwise this question will take a lot of time of your right hope you enjoyed the solution